Hello, everyone. We're back again. I am Michael Jolly, and I am joined by yet another special guest. It's Aaron from Sync Fusion. Welcome, Aaron. Good to see you. Hey, Mike. Nice to see you as well. Thanks for having yeah, me. Yeah, absolutely. You know, there's been so much that's come out at Build the last couple of days. I'm really curious. Is there anything that's, you know, really interested you, caught your eye? Yeah, I'm really interested with all the Blazor announcements and everything that's going on with that. Uh, it's something that uh, here we're, uh, at Syncfusion we're really excited about as well. We've been uh, supporting Blazor since basically day one. Uh, it was a big push for us uh, last year when we were at Build, and we actually have quite a few controls that, that uh, we can show off as well. Oh, that would be awesome. I would love to see what you're working on. Awesome. All right, so for the demo that I prepared today, I wanted to do something a little bit different um, than what we typically do at Syncfusion. So if you go to the Syncfusion uh, Blazor product page, you'll find this list of all of our components available in the suite. Each one of these will take you to a dedicated demo page for that particular component. So for example, the data grid, our charts, uh, and even things like our buttons, et cetera. So that's all pretty well and good. But typically when we see demos like this, they, we, they tend to focus on, again, sort of the most common or basic components, things like data grid, charts, and maybe even list views or to-do list, that kind of thing. So what I wanted to do was create a demo that uh, focuses on file management. So let's go ahead and pull up Visual Studio and take a look at that. So what I have here is a um, simple application that uses a couple of our components. So first of all, I have our upload component, which allows us to upload a file to the server. I have our file manager, which is gonna allow us to display what was uploaded and then uh, interact with it. Then I have our dialog component, which is used to display our PDF viewer, which is what I'm ultimately gonna do with these files after they've been uploaded. Uh, beneath that, you can see the code for the uh, for this page. So we have some methods here that do things like uh, refresh the file manager on the successful upload of a file. Uh, I also have here a method that handles uh, fetching the data of the uploaded file and selected file to pass over to the PDF viewer to load there. Besides that, all the other code that's used in this demo can be found uh, right on our documentation. So things like the model, the models used, the uh, controllers, etc. That's all found in our documentation. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at the demo itself. All right, so here we have it. So you can see right at the top, we have our upload control and then right in the middle, the file manager. So there's currently nothing inside of this uh, folder, which I've called upload. So let's go ahead and fix that. So I'm gonna click on upload or sorry, browse, click on invoice here. You can see in the uh, upload component that this little queue shows up showing me that I have a file ready to upload. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and upload that. You can saw briefly a progress bar. And now you can see that the file manager has refreshed automatically and it shows the file that I have uploaded. So now I can click here, open it, and it pops right up in the dialog window, which contains our PDF viewer. Now, before I go any further, I also wanna go back to the code really quickly and just stress that I have not customized these components at all. So if you look at our uploader, the only thing that I've done here is um, added a, uh, is customized the, the event that lets me know that an upload has successfully um, occurred, and that's what I'm using to trigger the refresh of the file manager. Beyond that, I have not turned on or off really any other features uh, beyond what's in there by default. There is quite a bit of customization available for all these components, but everything that you're looking at right now is just default, um, including this PDF viewer. And one of the things I wanna point out here with the default features of the PDF viewer is that you can do more than just look at PDFs. So if we look at this particular file, you'll notice that there's a section here that uh, references a signature. And that's actually something I can add within this PDF viewer. So if I click on here, I will be able to display the annotations bar within the PDF viewer. And one of the functions in it is to add a signature. So here I can do some quick squiggles and then I can just drop that in wherever I want in the PDF document. Now at this point, I can choose to either print my annotated document, uh, download it to my local machine or save it back to the server, depending on whatever the, the, the use case is for this particular application. Now, obviously, there's a lot more that can uh, that can be said about any of these components. Uh, and then, of course, we have a ton of other components that I uh, wasn't able to talk about it at all. So I highly recommend you visit our the Syncfusion website, download a free trial, and just play with these yourself. You can also find Syncfusion on Twitter, just at syncfusion.com. You can find us on YouTube, where we also have a ton of videos on not only Blazor, but everything else that we offer. And of course, you can also find us on Instagram. Aaron, that looks really cool. I can see where like plugging in components like that could make uh, my build time, my life cycle a lot shorter. Uh, especially yeah. like with that PDF stuff, that's really legit how you're able to sign the PDF yourself and all that. I'm, I've done work with projects that needed that and we ended up having to roll our own thing and boy, 
I wish I had that back then. Yeah, absolutely. It makes things a lot easier when it's all just ready to go, built in. Just plug in a few lines of code, and it's just it's just there. It just pops up in your project. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, absolutely. You're very welcome. And thanks for having me once again. Everybody, thank you again for hanging out with us. We're going to get you right back to the action with Jeff and the Build Post Show.